for San Diego. McMahon tucks this one away and slides for the first down. Tim, I don't understand it. Quarterback takes a three-step drop and all the receivers run 30-yard routes. Somebody's got to turn around for the football. Number one, 40 seconds. The Chargers take another timeout. 149 remaining. That's the completion. Holland across the 45. To the 41-yard line. Andre Waters makes the tackle, but it's a gain of 15. The clock continues to move. He didn't get out of bounds. Still plenty of time, though. 71 seconds. McMahon. Incomplete. It was thrown at Anthony Allen. And William Lefty Frizzell may have gotten away with one. He was right on his back. And he almost had the interception. He had a hand on it. Could have reached down there and picked it off and taken it back in the other direction for a touchdown. What happened on that play is, though, is the Eagles started to blitz a little bit. They wanted to put, put a, additional pressure on Jim McMahon. And once McMahon, we mentioned spreading out the offense. You see the four wide receivers spread out across the line of scrimmage. What that means is putting pressure on each one of those defensive backs to come up and pick one of those receivers up. Second down and ten. Chargers definitely want to avoid a turnover. They want to get to at least field goal range. McMahon has it. And Miller down to the 20-yard line. Miller successful on the crossing route again. The Eagles are getting caught in between those little zones where they're dropping back. Miller just slid in there and made the reception. A gain of 21. <laughs> Incomplete. It was thrown at Caravello, but it was thrown way behind him. That time, the Eagles defense went to man-to-man -to -man coverage, had their cornerbacks up on the line of scrimmage, jamming the receiver so you can't get that free release downfield and get to the open spot. McMahon didn't like the cut of Caravello. Somehow there was a miscommunication. This is where Buddy Ryan defense is typically, and Jeff Fisher, their, off, their defensive coordinator, will tell his guys to tighten up down here. When you get inside that 20, that's when you start seeing blitzing out of the defense, one-on-one -on -one coverage as we just saw. Second down and 10. Chargers. The timing pattern on the fade incomplete. Thrown in the direction of Miller, who already has four catches today. The clock is stopped with 34 seconds. Mentioned that you want to send the blitz out of the, you're going to see a blitz out of the defense of the Eagles. They didn't do that, indeed do that. And then what happens is you get man-to-man -man coverage downfield. Nice fade route there by Miller. You want to throw that thing so you can float it over there to the sideline, let your receiver catch it, and either get into the end zone or get out of bounds. It'll bring up third down and 10. The ball still at the 20. McMahon has missed his last two. The Chargers are in field goal range, and we're tied at seven. Six defensive backs for the Eagles. Pressure coming. It's complete at the 15 to Anthony Miller. Correction, Brinson. Twenty-two seconds remain. Chargers take their second time out. They have one remaining. Well, when we talked to Dan Henning yesterday, he said one of the things they wanted to do was play within themselves, not make many mistakes, and melt the clock and just stay close. He said keep the game close. That's the key for him. Keep the game close until you have a chance to win it in the last couple of minutes of the ball game, and certainly through the first half of this ball game. That's what the Chargers have been able to do with a very explosive Philadelphia offense. It hasn't been a terribly effective offense for the Chargers. After that first drive, they struggled. This drive has been inconsistent, yet they've moved the ball. Well, one of the keys, though, is their offense has been able to stay in the ball game because their defense keeps them in there. The Chargers defense has kept the, uh, the Eagles offense bottled up pretty much throughout the first half. You know, Philadelphia had that big win over Denver last weekend. They came out here for the week. Buddy Ryan, instead of praising them, really ripped them. Monday morning because he didn't want to be upset by San Diego and really stayed on him hard all week as you look at Chris Barr. It's a 33-yard field goal attempt. Chris 
with 22 seconds. Buddy Ryan's defense has always blocked field goals straight up the middle. A lot of pressure on the center and the two guards. So we'll keep an eye on the middle. You're looking right down the pipe. Barr blocks it. And it's no good. It was touched in the middle. And Barr has it blocked. It was touched, what it, Dan? It sure looked like it because it went way over to the left. We'll see, though. I thought somebody got a hand on it. Maybe not. Well, the reason why Chris Barr was brought in here to the Chargers is, of course, he's been around a long time, and Dan Henningen brought him in, in because of his experience. Now, let's watch right here in the middle and see if this is simply shanked or is it touched by one of the defensive linemen. You see Reggie White is shanked to the left side, but Reggie White had his hand up right in the line of vision where Chris Barr wanted to kick the ball. You see that surge that they had in the middle of the defensive line there, and Chris Barr just kind of folds his hands up and goes, I can't believe I missed that one. So with 17 seconds left now, Cunningham scrambles and has it complete to Carter at the 33-yard line. I thought White had a hand on it. It sure looked like that from the it's an optical illusion, though. Sometimes you see that ball coming up off the uh, kicker's foot. Key thing here, though, is the, feet, the Philadelphia Eagles can still get down and get in field goal territory with 11 seconds left. They've got to stop. The Chargers have to stop the Eagles from running those sideline patterns. You've got to cut off the sideline and make them run to the inside of the uh, field. Drummond, Johnson, and Carter at the bottom of your screen. Cunningham throws to the backside to Keith Jackson. He sidesteps one tackler and then carries it to the 43. Sam Seal trips him up there. You see the clock has expired, and the first half will end. We've had just about everything in the first 30 minutes, and we're tied at 7. So Philadelphia comes in as the heavy favorite, but it's the Chargers that score first, and the Eagles really had to scramble, Dan. They really did, but Buddy Ryan really respects the ability of a Jim McMahon, and certainly Jim has displayed that ability today. We're tied at the half. CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League is sponsored by United Airlines, rededicated to giving you the service you deserve. Come fly the friendly skies. Golf here to start the second half. Ball taken by Edwards, and he is hit and hit hard at the 15. But Philadelphia has lost the ninth game of the season, Dan, seven straight years. Well, I think that now is the time that they're looking to turn that stat around. Good thing you didn't tell them that before the game. <laughs> well, I said it's of little significance, <laughs> but it's an uh, interesting number for trivia butts. Seven-yard return, first down and ten, the ball at the 15 for Philadelphia. You're a trivia buff, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Fires. Jumps over a blocker, spins and turns his way up to the 17-yard line. You know, I'm sure Buddy Ryan is going to have a little discussion with his return men about the bad field position they've been getting as a result of kickoff returns, poor kickoff returns and that type of thing. Now that forces your offense to change its mind a little bit about what it wants to do offensively. When you start from your, your own 15-yard line, suddenly you can't get in the sink in terms of the, the running game and the passing game that you want to use. Second down in five, the ball at the 20. We're tied at seven. Cunningham, it's complete to Drummond. He's got the first down at the 33-yard line. And the word we just get on Greg Garrity is he has a fractured clavicle and he will miss the remaining part of this season. Bad news for the Eagles. Particularly when you have your, your possession receiver, your sure guy, sure-handed guy go down. Now all of a sudden you have to search around the league, look around the waiver wires and see who's available. It'll be first down, the ball at the 32. After a 12-yard gain. Play action, Cunningham's in trouble. Escapes that. 
but he won't get back to the line of scrimmage. 